Hi everyone, this is Laura Pacheco with Really One Group and Compass and this message is for my buyers. Past, present, future, I've got some information for you. Um, I received my, I earned, I earned my real estate license in March of 2019 and that we had no idea what was coming, did we? And it was crazy and we already had a housing shortage and uh, once the pandemic hit, boy, that got super bad. Um, so yeah, so my past buyers, we have been through it, haven't we? Multiple offers, lots of tears, um, hopeful just to be let down and huge celebrations when we finally got the offer. And that's how I cut my teeth. And we have just been battle torn. So we get it, but we have a new, a new possible bump in the road in the future and it's not the pandemic and it's not uh, well there's a still a housing shortage not as bad as it was but this NAR settlement has the potential to affect buyers I don't think it's gonna be as big a deal as people tend to think it is but I just want you to know that the next time you go to buy a house and again if you're past buyer future buyer you need to know this you are going to be asked up front before the buyer's agent shows you any house at all, you must sign what's called a buyer's agency agreement. So that is the agreement that makes us your official realtor and you commit to that realtor to allow them to represent you in a real estate transaction, but you also commit to pay them a commission now that's where it gets kind of tricky because um, I've said in my previous videos, commission's always been negotiable between the listing agent and the seller. The seller has never had to pay your buyer's agent commission. They do it because the buyer brings seller, brings the buyer's agent brings buyers to the seller. So it's really to the seller's advantage. I don't think that's gonna change once sellers realize that um, to not pay the buyer's agent commission reduces their buyers. So I think that's all going to settle, but I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I predict that some buyers are gonna go straight to the listing agent and they don't represent you. They represent the seller. They have a fiduciary responsibility to represent the seller. They are contracted to do what's in the seller's best interest and um, you are not their concern. So. You need to know that as a buyer, if you go directly to the person listing the house, they are not looking out for you at all. And you just need to know that. That's very scary. And and I get it. A lot of buyers, they're paying an average 2 to 6% of the complete and total sales price of the house by the time everything, all the dust settles. So the closing costs, and the appraisal, and the inspection, and the down pay, everything. So that's a lot of money out of pocket. And then to be asked to pay another two or 3% towards the buyer's agent, that's just unrealistic. So um, I, I do think that the sellers still may consider paying the buyer's agent. I know that I have a lender friend who um, they are in discussions now at the mortgage company to fold those into the buyer's closing costs if it's needed. So those are things that are being ironed out now. And again, the judge hasn't even signed this proposal from NAR. So it's not a done deal. Things are still business as usual. And um, the sellers that I've worked with so far still say, I, I want to pay the buyer's agent commission because they're going to bring us buyers. So I do think that's it's not going to be that big of a deal, but you need to know your inclination is going to be when you're asked to sign that buyer's agency agreement with the buyer's agent, saying that you are going to pay them 3% commission, your inclination could be no thank you and you're going to go to the listing agent. Don't do it. Don't do it. We know 3% is too much for you to pay for. Have those discussions with your buyer's agent before you sign it and see what that'll look like at closing time. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have to say. And um, I will talk to you soon. I want to be your resource. I want to be your realtor. Call, text, or email me. I'm here. Bye.